Hi one, hope you're doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now today I have two topics that I want just to randomly discuss on your channel here. And then I will do separate one in this video, then another one I'll be talking in another video that will come out at 9 a.m. So make sure that at 9 also you come back to watch what we have uh, published on this channel. Now. Kenyans have been affected in a very huge way economically, especially from the time Uru Amnoto took over power. And uh, we know very well uh, most of the challenges we are having now, it has been contributed to uh, due to uh, the issue of transport. Because then, when it comes to movement of goods and services, they will depend on transport, whether air, water, or road. And if the cost of transport is high, then that defines the price of that commodity at the retailing end. So the whole body will go to the consumer. That is the truth. And if you talk about transport, then the issue of fuel comes in. Once the cost of fuel is high, then it means the commuters are going to raise the bus fare, including even those who are in other transit business. The, the cost of transport definitely normally goes high because then now they have to sustain the business, earn a profit, and deliver the service. With all this, we know it has been brought about by the 2023 Finance Bill, which increased the price of fuel from 18% taxes to so from 8% to 16%. And we know what April did. Despite a court order that was trying to stop it, they went further to defy a court order and they increased. So in all uh, fuel products that we have, equally diesel, equally kerosene, equally petrol, we well, only by 13 shillings. <laughs> so now you know what is happening today. Everything has gone up. Now with all this, we are seeing now Kenya Kwanda trying to come up with the other measures in a proposal to change, uh, proposal changes to the NTSE. And with all this, they want transport CS to be the one determining the bus fare for public service vehicles. And with all this, then they are saying that this is how they are going to solve this problem of high cost of transport. What we are by a bus fare, nanini. So, if the proposal will go through, and the man who is tabling this uh, bill is uh, the community member of parliament, Didmas Paratha. So that means it is originating from the Kenya Kwanza side, and uh, that's UDA party, the ruling party. So, that's why they are coming with to solve the problem that we are having in this country as far as the issue of transport is concerned. Do you really see a serious government trying to bring out solution in all this? Yule minister wenyo akwendi ana control bus fare. I have seen people clapping. I have seen people, you know, welcoming this decision. In my view, what I'm seeing here is a PR. These people are not serious. If they are serious, there are only two or three things they need to do. You don't need to be the one determining the bus fare. Because then even bus fare, it is determined uh, on uh, around a few factors. I think uh, distance, it will determine bus fare. Then time of the day, it also defines a bus fare. Then fuel price. And the big issue here, it is fuel price. Leave alone the issue of time. Distance and fuel price. So when the fuel is high, what do you expect? The cost will go high. So it goes again to the end consumer. The person who needs that service, the one who is going to pay for all this. Now, if Ruto was serious and the Kenda Kwanda is serious, through Didmas Barada. 
The only way to solve this problem was by not increasing the fuel levy from 8 to 16 percent. But they went further to do so. So how do you come in as if you are now coming to bring a solution when you are the real person who made the problem? Mamba uh, industry, uh, 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 Matatu industry, it is not a monopoly. What will work? That means you have a choice. Magari ni make. Na wakisi pamoja na wakikuyu mefikiwa. Nini dongo kwa industry. Mefikiwa. But again, I don't see a serious person here with a serious solution. So, you cannot create a problem, then you come in with, in a weird way to bring, like you pretend like you, are, you want to bring a solution. You cannot. We know the biggest problem here, it is the government, when they increased the fuel, yeah. Uliongeza ushuru kwa mafuta. Alafu nino nakuja kwa ambia wa Kenya. This is just a war they are opening with the commuters. And at the end of the day, they might not win this war. They will end up dropping it. So this is just a way I'm seeing. They are just trying to buy time and play PR to make it feel like the solution is coming when indeed there is no other solution here in what they are doing. And I want to mention three other issues they can deal with if they want to bring a solution. But if we go deep into that, just a quick request for those who are watching and you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing. To our channel subscribers, I must thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much, and back this discussion. Now, to solve the problem we are having in this country, there are other issues that this country, this government should look into. Because then you can imagine someone working within the Nairobi environment. You have been employed with a salary of 30,000, 40,000, 50,000. At our 20 work. And then, assuming that you are working in Nairobi, CBD, I'm a user environment, and on every day you are spending 100 kwenda kazi, another 100 kurudi. In that, you are spending 200 every day. You multiply, by, you multiply that one by that, and you tell me how much is that. You end up spending close to half of your salary on transport. Ready na kungoja. When will you save? To solve this problem, sababu sasa watu wengi wanaguzwa zaidi ni watu wanafanya kazi kila siku. Mwa mboga naenda kuleta mboga akirudi. Ivo ivo. Na wafanya kazi. So, you find even mwa mboga also, he's spending 200 every day. Or 300. Kama ulifanya biashara ula ukapata profit ya 500 hiyo ndio umeuza ndani kama 200 in transport na unabaki na 300 what is that wewe utakuwa hapa na ngoja umpe 40 unabaki na nini zero if this government is serious one of the best way of solving this problem is introduction of BRT rapid uh, Bus transport. Well, I tell you, and it is working in Tanzania. I don't know in Uganda if it is there, but I know in Tanzania it is working. Something that was welcomed with the all hand by the public. Introduce rapid bus transport. With this one, it is now what you can now manage as a government. You can put the prices there. Ata mkisema watu watu ya msini ya maishirini ni sawa. Watu watu mea hizo means of transport. In that way, you will, not, you will have not interfered with the uh, with the matatu industry. Wako separate to kufana beshara yao na huu meka hii. Say that if they found that customers are going to this other one, they will now try to put fair uh, uh, fair um, charges to people who are using their means of transport. But my friend, Kenya is a country that has allowed free market. Iko na free market. You cannot start putting price on commodities hapa na pale. Zenyahato ujasaidia mutu kwenye. In free market. 
So you can't regulate it that way and think that you will win. Hii tunaona ni PR. Kulikuwa na mambo ya NYS bus zilienda wapi? Kwa nini wasirudishi? Kulikuwa na nyayo bus zilienda wapi? Kama wako serious, warudishe hizi, watengeneza barabara zao na zikue. Hii kitu nimeona even is working. If you go to countries like this Gulf countries, go to Dubai, you go to Qatar. Check on their means of transport. There is public transport. Iko hiyo magari yao. Sijui ni car and all those ones. They are cheap. We are using like one real, two real on transport. Ukienda kutumia metro, you are using <laughs> even a half real. Ziko. So why can't it work in Kenya if they are serious? Ima mbayo, watu natupigia hapa yote hii ni kelele tupu. They don't have a plan. The only plan is to bring this rapid transport system in Kenya. Once you bring this one, ume sort out mamamboga, ume sort out uh, people who are using uh, matatus for transport every day, wakienda kazi, wakirudi. Na kini is a tunaona, hakuna solution up. And that's why I was to come and uh, uh, give my views on this uh, proposal that is coming from uh, UDA party through community member of parliament. Did the Masbarada stop drama? To solve the problem here, introduce a means of transport that is that is that will bring uh, that will bring a fair competition to commuters, and in that way you will suppress if there's anyone who is uh, who is extorting money from Kenyans. Lakini ishi ya zenyu za kwambia kipichuma ni atakuwa na yaka bus fare. Anajua hiyo gari na uluwe pesa ngapi. Anajua servicing ni pesa ngapi. Anajua watu na lipa pesa ngapi. He don't know. Populists will not help a 